All right, so what we got going on today is we're gonna be putting some rear captain seats in the back of the Paperweight Duramax. These are out of a Yukon XL, the middle seats. Um, they should bolt right in, so hopefully it wouldn't be too big of an issue. They are not the exact same color of what Eric's got, but it's not real easy to find these kind of seats, so he's just kind of living with it. All right, so if you guys missed my video, I put in leather seats. I took my seats out. I put in leather seats um, for the front and the rears. But now this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be putting in those captain seats here. And the process is going to be actually quite simple. It's going to be the same. You're going to have four bolts. One, two, three, four. You're going to have to take these out. You're going to have to take these out. Other side, we got some more bolts. But obviously, I'll go through that with you. First things first here, we got to take this plastic piece off here to access these four bolts on this side. One, two, three, and four in the back here. We're going to go ahead. And to get at this one, this is a really nice thing about these M12 compacts is I can just fit this in here. So now that you got those four out, it's really simple here. This is your seatbelt latch or your seatbelt safety thing that gets bolted to that stud. You're gonna have to take that off. So now that you have this section free, we're gonna keep these bolts obviously. We need to take these off right here. We need to take these two bolts off. These ones right here, these are going to be a 13 millimeter. I also forgot to mention that these guys right here, I don't remember if I mentioned or not, these were an 18 millimeter. We need to get the seatbelt out of the way, so we need to take that bolt back there off, and that's gonna be an 18 millimeter. And your best option is gonna be to use a swivel on this back one to get back there at it. We just have to take that back bolt off and then these two little guys right here. Which those are a 13 millimeter. And now, this seat should be free. You got it? Yeah! Hey, muscles. <laughs> Woo! There it is. Woo! All right. So now we got that taken care of. We now have bolts on this side to take care of, which these are over, over yonder. One right there, one right here, and one right there. All right, and here again, we're gonna utilize a swivel. If you guys don't have a little compact tool like this i highly suggest getting one i don't have one in my toolbox this is eric's toolbox that we're working out of man i got to get one of these things because i had to do this with my big ass half inch and that thing was a pain this is super easy and can take it off just as easily all right so now we're gonna go ahead and take this one out and it should be very simple so let's uh let's get it on out of here Just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, vacuum his rear seat up because when you got this all exposed like that, it's a lot easier to vacuum up. So we're gonna go ahead and vacuum this up. All right, so now it is vacuumed. And we're gonna go ahead and install the far seat first and then we'll install the closer one here. Dude, no way! Yeah! No way! Yeah, dude, hell yeah! What? There, dude, they direct bolt no. in. Oh my God. Wow, that is beautiful. We saw it direct bolt in. Now we just gotta go back on this side. We're gonna put our two 18 millimeters back on this side and we'll go on the other side and put those 18 millimeters back on.
and the seatbelt clicks in. I think I'm gonna have to do this in the black truck, you guys, in my LBZ, because this is nice. For people that ride in the back seat, I don't ever run three wide in the back. So uh, this is out of a 2000, a 2000 uh, GMC Yukon. XL. XL. So sure. keep that in mind if you're looking for seats. XL GMC Yukon. Hold on. So for those of you wondering, yes, we screwed a piece of wood onto the subwoofer. That's because the seats would keep leaning back. So we're let rest in the seats on this so that it doesn't touch the subwoofer. For those of you that were wondering. <laughs> Still rocking the swivel. 18 millimeter. This one's pretty easy to get to right here. All right, so I want to show you guys real something real quick here. I had to keep all these bolts loose. I had to loosen them all back up and able to lift this up and slide that back bolt, that back nut in there. And now I got that nut on the stud and now I can use my 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench and get that thing on. So that last bolt there, um, that one that's kind of tricky, what we ended up using was a crow's foot um, and able to get that bolt on because typically when you're on a Yukon, you can access that from behind and you can't do that on these trucks. So a crow's foot works really well. And then we went ahead and tightened down those other three bolts, those other, th other three nuts again, and we're all done. So this is the finished product here. Got your captain seats in the back. And if you guys know anything about um, the 2000, 2001, 2002 trucks, those seats are comfortable. I mean, it's like I'm sitting on a couch right now, you guys. You cannot complain about these. I would highly suggest it. I want to do it for my truck. The trucks feel way more roomy. They almost feel more like a modern truck with all the room that you have. Um, you're not so close anymore. It's just, it's just a much better much better rear seat situ yeah you're loving it right that is so comfy <laughs> they're better than the front seats yeah they're they're nice they're i mean look and we're not look how much room we have oh yeah i mean you gotta get a center call and you have to drive from now on so i can sit back here wait wait can you imagine going cross country in this this would have been way better for when we went oh, to yeah. illinois oh my goodness texas oh yeah when we went to texas it's two naps dude just Sleep on. on. All right, but anyways, you guys, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would highly suggest doing this to your trucks if you don't run with three people wide that often. It's a great option. It's a great fitment and can't go wrong with it. Have yourselves a great night.